Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I just want to say welcome. Please don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to hit the notification bell next to it so you don't miss any of my videos. Today we are using freezer paper to create our designs on our shirts. So let me go ahead and show you what you will need. So first we're going to need the freezer paper. Um, I got this from Walmart and I've had this for two years so it's gonna last you for a while. And then I got parchment paper got this from Dollar Tree and then I have four tubs of uh, speedball paint or sorry fabric oh wait I can't even read it's a screen printing ink and these are the ones that I used for um, for the shirts and I got this for I think it was ten dollars I used 50% off coupon at Michaels so if you guys are interested don't forget your coupons and then I got these glitter fabric paint from Hobby Lobby and Joann's and right here this is what it looks like they're just tiny ones and I have the gold the green and the silver and then I have these three um, paint brushes that you can use this is my favorite um, but in case you don't have this you can also use the foam brush or this kind of brush with this kind of bristle so all right let's get started so I'm in design space and I have my design all ready. The image was found on Google. Then I just added the text Roar and the name of the font is awesome. I'm just going to select both, then go to the right bottom panel and click attach. Then click make it. Then I'm going to click continue. We're going to click Browse All Materials, scroll down to Paper, and I'm going to try Parchment Paper on mine and just click Done. So right here I'm going to click on the pressure down arrow and you can choose more or less. In this case I'm choosing more. Now I just place the freezer paper onto my mat, shiny side down, and just using my scraper to ensure that it's stuck onto my mat. Load my mat and click go. Now that it's done cutting, unload the mat and start to weed in reverse. Make sure that you don't lose the little pieces like these ones. And I have saved a backing of an HTV. I believe these are called heat transfer tape, which I'm only going to use it over my little pieces. This way when I remove the freezer paper from the mat, all the pieces are still together till I press it onto the shirt. So I'm just going to burnish, gently remove the freezer paper away from the mat. Now I'm going to prepare my colors as you can see. I just need to create a green and an orange. And you'll see it here how I do that. The next step is to put parchment paper or cardboard inside the shirt to prevent the paint to leak through or touching the back of the shirt. Place the freezer paper on the center of the shirt. And I've already preheat my iron and my setting is on cotton, no steam. So I'm pressing the part where the heat transfer tape is first then press or glide over the rest of the paper. And please be careful, it is extremely hot. So I'm just going to lightly paint over the design. I'm going to speed up the video so we can get to the next step. And then go over it again and let it dry. Thank you. 
I left this alone for a few hours to dry and now it's time to remove the freezer paper from the shirt. And don't forget to weed the little pieces. The last step is to place the parchment paper on top of the design and iron it one more time. And there you go. That is how you use the freezer paper to design a shirt. Alright you guys, let me know what you think of this video. If you find this helpful, please give it a big thumbs up or leave me a comment of what you think of it. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.